All right, we've had a few clients lately that have wanted a bigger house. Big house. So we're gonna go and video some monsters. We're about Monster. to hop in the car. So I just looked up a thesaurus, Mark. Do you know what a thesaurus is? No. A thesaurus, you can look up one word and it gives you other words that mean the same thing. Okay. So I looked up in a thesaurus, oh, it's what? Wait, where'd it go? Hold on. Siri, show me other words for huge. This is a big failure. Right? <laughs> no, this is beautiful. All right. Enormous, vast, immense, very large, very big, great, massive, cosmic, colossal, prodigious. That's I Prodigious? Never, I've never heard of that one. Yeah. Uh, gigantic, gargantuan, mammoth, monumental, tremendous, and stupendous. So we're going to go see some stupendous homes available here in the Charleston market today. Yeah, some of them are up to 4,000 square feet, right? Yeah. The smallest so, one we're gonna see is I think 3,500, right? 3,300. 3,300. Yes. And bigger. Yes, and we don't know each other. My name is Mark, this is Jeff. We're with the Charleston Area Living Team. I just wanted to show you this fancy cover <laughs> right here. Like, <laughs> what made you think to do this cover and, and do that so face? We, we took this picture, and, and this explains 25 years of marriage. This is the, I just said something stupid face, and this is my wife giving me the look like, well, seriously, what is wrong with somebody like you? <laughs> How have I been married to you for 25 years? This makes no sense to me. All right, well, let's go check out some of these homes. We're going to jump in the car, head over there, and then we'll come back and do a quick recap. See ya. Mark, yes. this house is huge, oh, <laughs> right? You see what it did there with the that was good. That was yeah. good. All right, so we got uh, 3,307 square foot. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath house. Before you walk in, Jeff. Yes, holding up. What do you notice different? <gasps> three car garage. You love a three yeah, car garage. I love garage. a three car garage. It wouldn't be three cars. Just, I just need one for the slingshot or the golf cart. Yeah. Let me see if we're going to be... No, nope, we're okay with shoes. Okay with shoes? Okay. Everything's protected. Nice. So inside the front door here, we've got... Nice wainscoting here. Yeah. And All the windows the are cased. Big, oh, you, your, one of your lights is in here. Corner fireplace. Nice. And this is a cool light. The gold is coming back. It is. It is. I, apparently, I, I'm, I'm not voted. So, I don't know. I'm a little confused. We've got these bronze handles. Oh, is this bronze, maybe? That's a gold light. Okay. And then nickel faucet. And look, a nickel uh, water fountain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's got the pasta water fountain, which pot. again, it's called a pot filler. As uh, whatever. For everybody on YouTube, as, it's a um, pot filler. I mean, that's a cool thing to put in a spec home. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and the nice gourmet vent. Yep, I like it. Oh, look at the farm sink. Ooh. Pretty. We had like three clients in the last three days ask for a farm sink. Farm sink, really? Yeah. Farm I don't sink. like them. I like um, because yeah. I want to be able to have one sink clear and one to throw pots in uh, that need to be like clean and still have a sink available for. The only problem with that is, is like if you're doing a half sheet pan or something, yeah, it never fits in if That's you have true. the two strings. Yeah. So this is a cool lot. I like this lot. Got a little pond lake view back here. Oh, there's a little, uh, what are those called? Macaroon, not macaroon. Macaroon, oh, I like macaroons. Where do you see macaroons over there? So oh, they. I don't see cookies at all. They go into the water and stuff. Oh, the birds swimming. Yeah. Okay. So this one has a dining, no, office? Yeah, office. Yeah, office. I done Jeff went. says, okay, wait. I, I, did, I done went and got lost. Okay. This is this could be multiple things in here. Dining room, office, flex room. Bedroom. Bedroom. Yeah, because look, there's a, a walk-in closet? closet here. Okay. Yeah, it's got a walk-in closet. I think this would be my bedroom. Yeah. I got access to the kitchen, kitchen. immediately if you get the munchies overnight. And where's this? Oh, this goes back? Yeah, so we're going back to the front of the house here. We got a drop zone. And then that's the garage. And then half bath, because this is three and a half bath. That's a pretty big storage. Yeah, don't hit your head. Oh, it stops right there. Okay. All right, so we're back out in the main living area. It's like a maze. Mark, tell us what this is. I'm going to point at them, and you tell people what they are. So that is a HDMI pipe. Call it something else, though. 
It's for an HDMI cord, so you can put your DVD player or receiver or whatever you want there, and then it goes all behind the walls and comes out behind your TV. Yeah, and so uh, so you, you would use that a little technically challenged. Um, that could be for surround sound also, right? Yes. Because it would come down to the receiver. Receiver, yep, you got it. Look at that, I'm using big Good words. Good job. Good Thanks, job. buddy. Good job. And um, again, Mungo's signature yeah. coffered ceiling is great. I, you know why I'm craving a Big Mac right now? Why? The Golden Arches. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Let's go upstairs. Come on. No, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, oh, a total dad joke. Yeah. All right, so we got hard services upstairs in the loft area or uh, bonus room, I guess is what you call it. Yeah. I'll follow you. All right, uh, we'll go figure it out. Yeah. Okay, full bath. So this is going to be a secondary bedroom. Full bathroom. Tiled, nice. So it must be put in car. Nice view of the lake back here. Oh, yeah. Got a walk in closet. I'm already out of breath from going up to the <laughs> bonus there. We, we, need, we, we need you a Big Mac. So good loft. I feel like this might be primary. All right. I don't know. I mean, we've got a ensuite bathroom here. Okay. With a good size walk-in closet. Is this a? Is yeah, a Jack and Jill? this is a Jack and Jill. Oh yeah, with the sink. It's like that Z-shaped Jack and Jill. Yeah. What's cool is though that each one has their own oh, sink, sink separate from the other. So brother and sister can't. No fighting through right. a toothpaste at each other. Is that Jill? She's a handful. <laughs> I feel bad for Jack sometimes. So walk in. Walk in. What was this magical room? I think it's a closet. Right? Yeah. Landing closet. Laundry right here. Okay. So we've we found the primary. Found it. We found it. We found it. Yep. La 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 la. Ooh, look at this. We found him. We found him. La 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 la. Closet. This is a big room. Clean. Oh look. my. It, and it even goes around just a little bit. Oh, that's a big closet. My wife would love this. Tray ceiling. All right, so you even looked at, do you think there'll be a shower or a tub in the shower? So in the last one I had the tub and the shower, I'm gonna go with that. Full shower, no tub. No tub. I lose yet again. Easy. Tile all the way up the ceiling, that's yeah. nice. And the- trim in here. Yeah. Separate sinks. Okay. Again, like that. And two linen closets. This one's really big. Oh. So that so one, that one. Hidden and her linen closets? And where's the toilets over here? Okay. I'm back. I was thinking, wait, where's the closet? We're just in the closet. So yeah, honestly, that's enough room for just me. Yeah. For As a closet. I'd be fine with that. You'd be like, put your towels over there. Oh, I, I hear that every day. Andrea, every, does your towel go there? Is that where your towel goes? Is there a reason your towel's there? I have a hook for your towel. Why don't you put your towel on the hook? All right, so uh, this one is... Hold on, I'm going to get my Another glasses. monster. Well, kind of a monster. Yeah, this one's pretty big. Uh, 3307, four bedroom, three and a half bath, lovely home. All right, we're at our first of the big boys. This one is... 3,506 square feet, six bedrooms, four and a half baths, and priced well under $500,000. It's at 475 mark. 475. Is it? That's a lot of bedrooms for 475. That's a lot of square footage for 475. And this one, <laughs> not good for fat realtors, but it's got three floors. We're we're about to do some stair climbing in here. That's why you told me eat extra today. <laughs> yes, I need you to carb up. That's why I told carb you to up spaghetti for breakfast this morning. <laughs> So because it's 3,506 square feet, is that what I said it was? Yeah, 3,506. The uh, It's not as wide as yeah. some of them because it's going three floors up. Okay. But the third floor is pretty impressive. Okay. So in the front door, uh, dining room space here on the left. You can see into the two-car garage that's obviously not a wall yet. And that was an office up front, right? Is there an office? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So an office up front or... You know what? I wonder if that's no, that's not the sixth bedroom. I guess all the bedrooms yeah, are I think up all on the top two floors. Unless that, that's probably a bedroom. That's the bedroom. Yeah. yeah. So that is an office and a dining room space here in the front. An L-shaped kitchen, but you've got plenty of room over there for a big table, mm -hmm. and then the living space here. And you probably heard us say this before, but 
these areas feel smaller without stuff in them. Without furniture, it yeah. It totally yeah. does. Yep. So, yeah, this is actually a suite, Jeff. Yep, got a full bath down here. Yeah. So, totally could be a mother-in-law type scenario down here. Yep, if you liked her. If you like your mother-in-law. <laughs> I don't understand that, but whatever. <laughs> I like my mother-in-law. Well, you got lucky, my friend. We even put her on a video. That's how much we yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We did like, this is a cool lot too, look. Oh, I like it. It's got kind of a long view down the down the pond. Now, if you didn't like your mother-in-law, you could tell her that's the bathtub. Yes, go in there. <laughs> maybe we get lucky. We don't see too many alligators in no. this neighborhood, but maybe one will swim by. Right, right, right. We can hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. So there's a full bath down here attached to that in-law suite. And then there's also a half bath here. Okay. I'm already out of breath. All right. So second level. Top oh, you can of the go steps. like four different ways. It's like a maze. Yeah. I, I was in here the other day. So let's. So okay. So this is a secondary bedroom. Okay. In here. So reaching closet in this one. Okay. All right. Right there. And then as we come down the hall, this is the primary here. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. This is a huge problem. It, this is a big bedroom. And then into dual vanity, shower, closet, pooping room, and then another, another walk-in closet. closet over here. With a Smurf door. Okay, for some storage. Out into some storage that you can see in there. Very nice. That closet's, uh, it's gotta be a linen closet. Right? Yeah. Okay. So only one walk-in. All right, so back came straight up down the hall now we turn left okay another secondary bedroom and this one actually has a walk-in closet yeah that's a good size and th so we're in the front of the house now okay so back into the hall back towards where we hit the top of the steps okay you got a bedroom over here right we were in that one no nope, this is the oh we did do yep this. we was in that one yep. i'm paying attention today all right. all right full bath here closet another bedroom with its own reaching closet actually okay. that could be a little it's a little walk-in yeah that's a walk-in walk-in closet yeah this this one has a walk-in closet okay and then laundry here on the second floor that's a good place for laundry stick it in the corner yeah and plus where most of the bedrooms are in the house right right, right. all right all going right up. and wait till you see the size of the third floor it's like another whole wow. house up here yeah so, so this would be an awesome huge apartment. loft Good for a mother-in-law. Yeah. More potential to trip going down the steps and break a hip, and then it fixes all your problems. Or a college kid, or... Well, yeah, that would work, too. Yeah, you got to walk in here. So, really big bedroom, bedroom too. With, with a shower. Yeah. I'm assuming this is a walk-in, or it's going to be for HVAC equipment. I bet you that's it. Probably, yeah. So... They really utilize all oh, the yeah, space in this house. Well, I'm confused. Right? Because that's like a storage closet. Yeah, so where's the... Wait, the HVAC equipment's there. Yeah, so, so it's that's, be... yeah, you're right. So that's going to be a walk-in closet there. Yep. So a really good size walk-in closet for the third floor. Yeah. All right, so six bedroom, four and a half bath, 3,506 square feet. It's a monster. All right, we're over in Lockton now, which is another part of uh, Cane Bay Plantation. And the builder on this one is Mungo Homes. This is a big boy, 4,045 square feet. A big old monster. Wow, wow. Over Five four. bedrooms, four full bathrooms. So if you like to clean bathrooms, this might be the house. <laughs> this for is you. the perfect house. <laughs> we're gonna slip our shoes off just because yeah. we were in new construction earlier. We were running around in some mud, won't wanna mess up this pretty house. Yeah. So this would be a great flex room, office, whatever you want to make it. It's got the prowl molding in it up top. And then I love Mungo for their coffered ceilings. Every dining room has a coffered ceiling. Look how beautiful that is. It's very pretty. And then even look at the little archways. Yep. Like what? I guess they put shelves and stuff in there. I've never seen this before. Well, it's uh, so for the dining room, I guess if somebody had a big Plates. hutch, it would go in there. Yeah. It or could be a built-in hutch. You should have a big screen TV in there because you need a big screen TV in every room. While you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a little butler's pantry here. That's good. And then it goes into this huge kitchen, I would say. Yeah. Good size. It's got the gourmet kitchen in this one. So you got the five burner gas range, microwave above the oven. Look at the size of these pendant lights, too. That is humongous. 
Humongi. <laughs> That's technical realtor term. Humongi. I like how they did the crown molding and all of the downstairs and the casings. They're really big windows. Yeah. Casings around the windows. So this one does back up to the path and then trees and then there's Cane Bay Boulevard. So even though the main road is there, it's really not that bad. Yeah, there's a good buffer in between here and there. Yeah, 100 feet or so. All right, you got still got an archway here. This one has a fireplace, which is nice. And then you got, oh, what's this? A little office maybe, right? I was thinking it was gonna be laundry. You got a nice full bathroom there and then a full bedroom here with a reaching club. So, okay, well, if we find laundry upstairs, then we know it's not laundry. They just haven't put the utilities in yet. Well, you would think the, the opening would be there or something. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mystery. It's got to be a pocket office or something. A pocket? You just made that up. A pocket office. No, I think that was from DRB. Remember the DRB? Oh, they used that term? Yeah. I'll let you go first. All right, so top of the steps to the right full bedroom is a carpet. secondary bedroom with nice carpet. Glad we took our shoes off. Yes. Walk-in closet. And you got a Jack and Jill bathroom here. Framed mirror. It's not just a sheet of glass into another bedroom. Another walk-in closet. Okay, so each of these has their own walk-in closet and one shared bathroom. Yep. And that goes around the stairs, I guess. And uh, then another... Another secondary. Secondary here. Does this one have a walk-in? Yep. It does. In, and you can also get into the bathroom there. So not only lots of bedrooms, but big bedrooms. Mm hmm Especially for the secondaries. And then hardwood or hard services big in loft. this huge loft. And then this has got to be the primary. That's a deep tray. Yeah. Wow, this is huge. Look at this. Great room. So you can have a sitting room here. Oh, I love that. I mean, <laughs> look at this. This secondary sitting room in this bedroom is as big as the other bedrooms. Yeah, pretty much. So if you wanted an office in here or a sitting room or, I mean, you could do a lot in here. You know, the problem with this bedroom, here, let me get back in the corner here. The problem with this bedroom is it's so big. If I decide to start chasing Andrea around the bedroom, I might not be able to catch her. I think she <laughs> might be able to get away. This bedroom is big enough. <laughs> like, please stop running. So this is interesting. I'm assuming the glass just didn't come for the shower. Otherwise, that would be a little odd. Yeah. Wouldn't you think? Yeah, it's coming. And it's got the nice big deep tub. Some people like that. And then it's got the two areas. So I could stay over here and Sharon wouldn't yep. yell at me. Separate the Oh, look at the changing mirror. I can't believe they, added, they actually included the mirror yeah. with the house. That's really cool. That's really cool. And two, two closet. separate closets. This is amazing. That's obviously hers. Yeah, is the bigger one over here? Yeah. Oh, look, Mark. I need to come, dressing? I need, no, I need you to go and check them what's behind that. I'll do it. <laughs> oh! What, what is that? It's passed through. It's, is that the laundry room? So you can put your laundry basket down? Oh, shut your, up. Oh. That's amazing. That's great. Have the laundry basket fill up, kick it through the door. Yeah. Let's go see where it goes. Yeah. This is a cool house. This is a cool house. And it's called the Yates model. Yates. Like Yates, it's so big. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and in the laundry room, it's got a sink and everything. Wow. We very rarely see them put sinks in the laundry room. Yeah, so they, yeah, yeah. they put a lot of stuff in this house. Yeah. All right, what are the details on this one again? So another big boy, 4,045 square feet, five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, a huge loft, and it's called the Yates. In a bedroom, you know what, you, you could have, uh, you could, if you were like one of the multiple wife guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you could, this would be the bedroom for you. Sister wives. Sister that? wives, yeah. All right. That this, was a good trip. So some big houses. Yes. You had 3,300 up to oh, well over 4, 45, was it? Well, almost 4,100 square feet. 4,100 square feet, yeah, yeah, big houses. So those were all in Cane Bay Plantation. So you've probably seen some of our other videos about Cane Bay Plantation, but we love Cane Bay. Yes. You can go by golf cart up to all kind of stuff. Yeah, so up at the front of the neighborhood, you've got a Publix, you've got Chinese food, you've got um, a, a pizza restaurant coming. It was there, now they're they're bringing can it I back. Can your collar? 
Yes. I need. We're on camera here. It's it, your collar's all jacked up. To, yeah, it's a dress. It's probably from uh, being in your truck. <laughs> well, that's probably we topped on maybe a little bit. <laughs> Um, you know, Chick-fil-A, your Starbucks, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, good stuff. Everything's there, and it's really cool because you don't have to drive the golf cart on the road mm-hmm. like you have to in some of the other neighborhoods. It's all through trails, and you can go under the road and everything else. And I'm purposely not going to call on Jeff right now because he has the pants. Jeff, go ahead. Mark, if you lived in Cane Bay and you wanted to borrow a book from a library, would you have to get in your car to go like way far down the road to get a book? You could go in your golf cart because there's a public library really? in the YMCA. I've I bet you that's rumor. never that that's like the largest YMCA on the entire East Coast. Is that true? On the Southeast. In the Southeast. Yes. I've been saying that wrong. <laughs> I apologize to whatever northern YMCA there is that I've been saying yeah. was ours was bigger. Southeast, because it's apologize. got the indoor swimming pool, yeah. soccer fields, baseball fields, yep. pickleball courts. You got the indoor pickleball court in the gymnasium. Yeah. They swap it over sometimes. A walking track above the gymnasium oh, that really? you walk around upstairs. So, so you could be up raining, there watching the kids play mm-hmm. basketball or something while you're walking your around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a great area. It's between the restaurants, the, the YMCA, uh, there's a lakes system over there in Cane Bay. Uh, you know, some of these neighborhoods are, are, are near the front, some are in the back. Uh, but just a great location. We're only like 12 minutes to where we are right now at our office and next and all the restaurants in addition to what's over there, over here. Yep. Health care over there. It, it's a great area. So much so that Mark lives there. I do. I love it. I've been there for seven years now. So if you have any questions about Cane Bay, definitely let me know. We would love to help you. Listen, do us a favor. If you could go down in the description, click that little link and schedule a Zoom call with us. Yeah. We want to be able to find the perfect neighborhood and the perfect lifestyle for you within your budget. So if you schedule that Zoom call, we can go over all of that stuff specific to you. And of course, we also want them to like the video. Like, subscribe. It really helps us out. And uh, don't ever go into any of these uh, new builders unrepresented without a realtor. There's no downside. There's only upside to give us a call first. So go ahead and book that. We don't care if you're moving in nine days, nine weeks, or nine months. We want to hear from you. All right. Until next time, see you. See you all.